I don't know how this is going to be possible. I don't even know. I mean, do I know what a demon heart looks like? I have an idea. Stop whispering sweet nothings into my ear, please. That's the way out. <laughs> ground. Ain't touching that. I ain't ready to be shacked up with anybody. There was a note on the wall over here, too. Yo, one time. Thanks for the lurk, dude. Hope you're doing well. What's this say? Can't tell. It won't tell me. But something about this bike is up. Ha. <laughs> I like it. Is it on? I don't like it. Like this is this is crazy. How am I not seeing a cross on? Oh wait, the safe is open. Hey, ba 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 ba. -ba. <gasps> It's a mirror and a chair. It's a chair. They're living in this room, it seems. This was a waste of time. I shook up with the others. <laughs> so fucking loud. Oh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This game sucks. <laughs> What we got here? A crucifix in the safe. It's the only one they really have. Oh, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna go look to see what the fuck you drew and... Motherfucker. Really? They really, that's how they're gonna cock tease me in this game? Is they're gonna make that fucking thing disappear so I can't see it? On the poster. You don't have it, do you? Forgot your keys again, oh. didn't you? batteries though all right about to find fucking demon hearts down here oh boy this way <laughs> i hit the wrong fucking button and wasted another battery holy fuck dude Oh, 
he jumped that makes sense Morse code <laughs> fortunately not Morse code I think it was this way Aha. it's away <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ holy fuck you brought back one of those fucking abandoned Shit, dude. Oh, the icon at the bottom helps determine that. Okay. Fucking moved an inch. Oh, that scared the Hello shit. Hello there. You're a better man than that. You don't gotta go around acting like a frog and saying ribbit ribbit slur every other sentence. Yeah. What do you mean? No one says the G word. <laughs> I've never heard of. There's no way you guys are. You sound spiced. Yeah. How are you doing, Fry? Hope everything is well. Huh. <sighs> oh, fuck! You look at fucking scarecrow. Ooh. Okay. Oh god! What the fuck was that, dude? I don't like this. Health packs and batteries would be key. There's got to be one in here, right? Like, they wouldn't have you going to the, right there. Oh, God! F fucking stupid bitch. Actually, do. Did you read the note that was on the wall? Oh, this right here? Yeah, despite. Despite. Oh, God damn it. Don't tell me the names are gonna be fucking wonky. Nah. Fuck! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> really? Oh, of course. Good evening, Father. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Alright, where do I gotta where do I have to use this shit on again? It's gonna be in here. Hello. All right. So oh, you fucking. 
Oh boy. It's Wednesday? Oh. Hey everybody. Welcome in. It's like I said, it's, it's Wednesday. It's weird. Very, very seldomly do we ever stream on a Wednesday. Nowadays, at least. I Since we started this schedule beginning of last year, maybe could it be more than three times, including tonight. <laughs> He's here! Call the police! <laughs> please don't. You don't swat me, please. Oh, God. Um, I hope you're all doing fantastic. I am doing pretty good myself. Uh, I'm very much excited to get to the weekend, though. Like, please. <clears throat> we got some... Um, Excuse me. We have some fun stuff this weekend to get to. Me and uh, a few peeps. Uh, an old band that doesn't play too, too often anymore is playing uh, two nights in a row at Widowmaker Brewing. band's name is The Red Chord. Uh, one of my... One of the very important bands I found like late high school into college and really just completely made me enjoy other music that just doesn't sound good to basically any many other people we'll put it that way uh anyways uh so i have this there's a it's a double header it's saturday and sunday um i'm going to both of them uh so I'm very excited for that but of course that means we had to move the saturday stream to somewhere here we are so um uh what we're gonna be doing tonight is playing two key miller games uh we have Striving for Light Survival. Uh, so this one is going to start us off. It's, uh, as you can guess, not really a horror game. Uh, however, this is one of those um, top-down, roguelike, bullet-hell shooter things like uh, Vampire Survivors or Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. This one, Striving for Light Survival, there's like a little backstory video that was played, by the way. Um and I tried to pause it and let me pause it. And I was like, oh, but essentially like in this world, all of the light was scattered uh, because this like fallen God or something deemed it so or some shit. And now the light is starting to conform back together and go from, it went from light to a huge era of darkness. And now it's trying to come back and it's us trying to basically fight and get the, the light back together. I was leaving the house and having to reschedule streams. I know, really? Oh my god. I just got super dry. Jesus. Um, so we're playing that one first. And then after And some new moan chaperone standing in the corner watching the young girls dance and some fresh sown moonstone was messing with his frozen zone remind him of romance the calliope crashed to the ground. But she was blinded by the light revved, revved up, up like, like a deuce. deuce. Yeah, Another runner like, in the night blinded this, by the light revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night. Nice. What's up, Satan? Welcome man. I'm like I like I read the first line or two and I was like I know what song this is. And then right when I saw Blinded by the Light, I was like, well, there it is. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, bud. Welcome in. Ugh. Um, so the second game I'm gonna be playing tonight is called, um, uh, Pol shit. Oh, Poltergeist Watcher. So that game is supposed to be a mixture of observation duty games right and then uh the puzzles are supposed to be a bit more complex don't think i love that but we'll see what happens and then last but not least a little bit of psychological horror so i'm i'm intrigued to see what someone did because i mean those these types of puzzle games that like have like horror themes or backdrops um i think it's pretty cool because it still matches like the vibe of what we do here um, but at the end of the day, it's really just a puzzle game, uh, which is great. Cause like I said, I like to play puzzle games a lot. That's, that's the only thing I don't have like a ton of fucking games on my phone, but like my phone and the, so the Kindle I have that, uh, my touch pro runs off of, um, 
they only have like puzzle games and card games. Uh, things just make me sit there and think and just bleed time, which doesn't happen too too often. Um, but it's it's a nice way for me when I wake up in the morning. I don't want to get out of bed. I play some games and my mind starts to wake up rather than I doing so well not doom scrolling. Every once in a while, I catch myself, and I'm like, stop, it's not helping. <laughs> they should do an observation game across one of those garage walkthrough games. Uh, observation, uh, you, the garage walkthrough games. Do you mean, like, the, like, spotting the anomaly and it's looping? I have solitaire. Does that count? It does. It does count. I got the name of the genre. It's actually a smart idea. Games are greater than doom scrolling. It's true. Where you go through a floor of the garage. Yeah, the anomaly ones. Yeah, so I mean, like, that's basically what the observation game is. You're trying to find the anomaly, and you're just... But it's, I mean, it's a little it's a little more real-time, though, versus, like, round-based. So I guess that's... If there's some way to mix those two together, like a round-based observation duty... Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Who knows? They've been blowing the hell out of this genre. It's been blowing up, seriously, the past couple of years. Um, and then we're also going to be back tomorrow, uh, streaming regular time, Thursday at nine Eastern and what are we doing tomorrow? Oh yeah. We're starting the final game in the Bioshock series. It's Bioshock infinite. Um, this one is definitely the most polarizing. I of course haven't played it. I've only played one and two as we've now seen. And, um, Outside of some really bad uh, stability issues in the second, uh, the sequel remake, um, I did very much enjoy both the game terms of gameplay, story, uh, the aesthetic, just fucking everything. I just, I really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to see where, where 3 br uh, brings me. And if it's something where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm with the group that really isn't big fans of it at all, or... The big fans. So I guess we'll have to find out. Um, and then that's going to be it for the week, unfortunately. But we're going to have uh, a week, an interesting week next week as well, because I leave on Thursday for a little birthday weekend getaway. Um, so I will not be here on my birthday. We're not doing anything for my birthday. We're not. <laughs> Last year was more than enough. It took me, I never, I never came back from that. The, the number, that's why that number is a maximum now is because of the birthday last year. And that number just grown so far out and then getting its way back down and then jug to over hitting and it went back up. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah. Uh, speaking of which, that number is a lot higher than I want it to be. How did we get to fucking 19? We were at like, weren't we at? nine or eight last stream we get that many more subs during the i don't know to be honest uh the disco elysium stream uh i'm actually i'm really enjoying the game we're definitely gonna be playing more of it um i was i i went from being wide awake and okay and then just like the <laughs> just fell out of life there so apologies for anyone that was watching it was like is he dying <laughs> Uh, of course I'm not. At least not as fast as anybody else. Um, so let's see, let's see. Yes, I wanted to do a wheel spin. So why don't we do the wheel spin really quickly? God, I just hope it's something good, but I've had some good luck recently, so I guess I'm due for a bad one. Oh, okay, no, I'll, mm, taking it, that's fine. We got the crack balls. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, by the way, our dear friend Colin of uh, Sour Not Sorry Brewing, that's the green hat right there. Right there. Um, he is bringing a new sour out <coughs> uh, specifically for Speedwell Tavern in Plymouth. And uh, it's going to be for their Hots and Hops Day. Uh, the restaurant, Speedwell Tavern, does a huge, uh, like, 
hot wing eating competition with their own like super crazy hot sauce um and there's a big competition every to see who can eat the um the pile in front of them the quickest or whatever uh no i'm not doing it by the way competitive eating is not for me i did it once when i was probably hello luigi sowoda i think i pronounced that right buckman buddy he hit skip real quick fuck all right hold i need to that song is a huge drop um Bryce, no, actually threw me off my game. What was I talking about when you got in here? Also, I need to eat these. Oh, okay, I remembered. Uh, so, anyway, so it's Speedwell, which, of course, Tony is like, yes, I know Speedwell. Yes, I know it very well. Um, so, he is making a beer specifically for that event. It is called Chickenzilla, because the chicken wings and everything. Uh, it is uh, another one of, uh, of course, a sour beer. It has, um, I believe he said, raspberry, peach, a little bit of lactose to have some creamy mouthfeels. If Tree's here, he's cracking up now. Um, and Carolina Reaper. So, you know who really wants to go to that event? Not so, like, I mean, for the food, yeah. The food there is fantastic. But um, I think that one beer, I need, to, I need to try one of those. Anyways. These are just some cheese balls. I usually eat three of them at a time because uh, they're not too bad. Three of them at the same time, it compounds just right for me. Uh, they're Carolina Reaper dusted cheese balls. Here's. Tired. I stream for 14 hours. Picked up. Kitty took an hour nap. Now I'm here. Barely alive. Barley alive. Please help. Like cheese balls, Satan. Satan got these for me, by the way, everybody. Got me right there. Barley, barely. Yep. They still exist. That's them. I always uh, offer some to my nephew when he comes over because he actually likes them. I'll see if the game convention has new ones next month. Oh, boy. Yeah, these have a good like they just taste like cheese balls, and then there's just like that the overall like flavor that is there in a Carolina Reaper is immediate, and then it just um, <laughs> and then it just hits you with a pow, and you're like, ooh. Yeah, you had the habanero ones, which I'm sure were fantastic. <clears throat> like if I didn't have to, I mean, obviously I do have to. That's why you sent them to me, but. If these were just ones that I bought, they wouldn't have lasted more than a day and a half. I would have crushed the bag of those. And once you had like three of them, they got addictive. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, let me take three points off the wheel down to 16. Fuck you. Uh, I love how this still happens. I think I kind of gave up trying to fix it. Like I wrote, I wrote a batch script that would like never allow that to change to some other number. And it still does. I don't understand why. Anyways. Um, yeah, I think we're up to speed talking about the schedule. Um, oh, duh. So obviously the charity stream is over. Uh, that was on Saturday, and we raised uh, was one thousand six hundred twenty six dollars. Woo! Fucking crazy! The lot of you. Um, for anyone that wanted to donate, they didn't get the chance to, um, or they just wanted. If you want to just share the link around, there uh, the link to Tiltify is still active. I don't know why I typed that in when I have a fucking button for it in front of me, but. Uh, but yeah, as you see there, there's just the link there uh, to the Tiltify page. Oh, tilt if I <laughs> yes. What do you think I said? Uh, Titify or Titlify? Titify? Yeah, I saw Titify. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, if you have, if you haven't shared, if you if you have shared out that link, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, seriously, the more eyes this thing sees, the more money that's going to come in for a good cause. That's just it's the law of averages, I would assume, right? Um, additionally, uh, for anyone that donated, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. There's so many generous people um, for something that's outside of Jugtober. That because that's obviously the big main focus here of the channel. Every year is Jugtober. It's the big event. Uh, we we celebrate another year of this channel existing, but we do it in the best way that we can really think, and that's to just play a bunch of scary games, watch scary movies, and raise money for uh, hope for the day. So. Uh, this one in particular was the uh, St. Jude's event uh, as part of the CEOs of Scream. So, um, again, it was super fun to do that. Uh, just have a one day quick out there. because It's a two month long event. And I'm like, eh, I don't want to run that for two months. That's like, that's really, it's, it's that'd be a lot. And I, and I feel like the other CEOs like didn't do in a, like the entire time. I think most of them did either one or like a couple and like scattered them around the two months, which, hey, whatever works, you know? Uh, and it clearly has been working because the team has raised over $10,000 uh, as a whole. And I checked this morning and, or this afternoon in St. Jude's in total globally, this entire event, the goal was $2 million. We broke 2.2, we broke it. We hit 2.2 million uh earlier today and that's just that's crazy um that's a lot of money just for out of the graciousness of people and i found out uh maybe not towards that event but definitely just directly to saint jude's uh tony khan the uh the owner and and booker and the, the head honcho at all elite wrestling Today, actually, donated a hundred thousand dollars to St. Jude's, which is really cool. You like to see it. I mean, the guy's a fucking billionaire, so like, but hey, you know what? It's better than nothing. Uh, but it's nice. To, it's nice to see stuff like that. Philanthropy. Uh, yeah. So that's all I had to say about that. Um, oh well, then it's the event ends at the end of this month, which happens to be Friday. So uh, Friday evening, I'm going to um, I'm going to end the the Tiltify campaign. That will then release the funds out um, to uh, St. Jude's officially. So uh, I believe Tiltify the number that St. Jude reports is just what we already have. Like it's in Tiltify, so they count it. It just needs to move. Tiltify is like the mailman in this situation. <laughs> so we already know like the funds are there. Um, okay, I think we are good to start this one. So let's, uh, go have some fun. I forgot I muted the game because it was not shutting the fuck up earlier. Yes. Here we go. Real epic. Wow. Okay, so apparently, uh, I, you can play online, and I even linked Twitch. So, um, what it does is it'll tell the leaderboards if you're either Twitch or YouTube and you're online, it'll show like a link so you can watch. And uh, there's a leaderboard that maintains um, what level you get to and how much experience points, which I think that's pretty fucking cool. You know, as long as oh, so there's normal mode, there's endless mode, which holy shit, level 59. Ooh. Chaos, chaos mode, you will play with a random character, random weapons, and random skills. Shape the chaos and compete in separate leaderboards where all players face the same odds. No one locks needed for chaos mode. That's crazy. Best one was level 33. Wow. Endless chaos, brother. <laughs> That's cool. I like how you don't have to unlock that. You can just play it. Also, I think this is co-op because you click there and there's all of a sudden two people. You click in, there's now there's one. So, saying, uh, but yeah, let's let's check this game out. 
Okay. okay. Prepare your run. Oh, these are all locked anyways. Well, some of them are. So select melee weapon. We only have one option. That is the short sword. Uh, 10 damage, 1.3 second attack speed. Knockback strength looks decent at 350. Companion damage plus 5. Crit hit damage 120%. Collect range plus 5%. Special effects, nothing. And there's some green swords at the bottom. I don't know what that means. Oh, this is torchlight? What's torchlight? What did that say? Unlocked by... Re oh, different... Okay. So we have Unknown Wanderer. An Unknown Wanderer with balanced talents. Melee damage plus 20%. Projectile minus 20. Uh, we also have an Unknown Wanderer. An Unknown Wanderer with balanced talents. Oh, it's the same character, just male or female. Okay. Sick. Um, Torchlight is a fancy game that... that that's this game, but before this game, it was like the developers reskinned Torchlight to make this one. Oh, interesting. I'm sorry, I need to lower the fucking music, which I already did once. I can hardly hear myself fucking think. I, I like the music, but it's fucking loud. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's the same company, but it's 100% the same engine. Oh, got it. Okay. That's still cool, though. You, so you can see, like, an echo from the past, and you're like, hey, it's cool to see this is still around. So range weapon is a light staff. 10 damage, 1.0 second attack speed. No knockback strength. Movement speed is a little bit faster. Critical hit chance. Critical hit damage. Or AoE and collect range. Again... <clears throat> No special effects. Different symbol, but I think that's supposed to be a ranged weapon. Yeah. Oh, there's two other symbols there. Interesting. Uh, now we get to choose skills. I don't, how many do we get to choose? That's the question. One, two, three. Six additional random skills would be added to skill spawn pool. How many? Oh, oh okay, okay. So I can... Technically, get all of them. Oh, because these are all locked. I can't. Yeah, I might as well just use all of them. Durr. So let's read what they are. Explosive hit. Your melee attacks cause an explosion. Area scales with AOE size. Damage scales with your melee damage. Stackable. Nice. Melee on hit. Damage at 12. Attack speed goes down 10%, though. Oh, God. A lot of attack speed goes down. Oh, wait a minute. All of these... Oh, then... Oh, wait. This is just a damage eight. All right. Well, hold up. We got to read all these and make sure we know exactly what we want here. This one is exploding dodge. Your dodge triggers an explosion. Deals with your AoE size. Damage goes with your projectile damage. Stackable. Just does eight damage. Sick. Love that. Um... <clears throat> Oh god, it's negative 20%. Projectiles are multiplied. Each multiplication stack adds a new shooting direction. I mean, that seems cool, but I'd have to I need to get an increase of attack speed, I feel, to get negative 20. Uh range attacks cast a swirling blade, which is cycling around you, applying a bleeding condition to all hit enemies. Ooh. Bleeding to enemy oh, applies bleeding to enemies, dealing condition damage, each two second additional damage. Duration increases on each con on each condition stack. Condition damage decay each tick 30%. Damn, that's pretty sick. That's 8. Oh, I'm sorry. That's 10. Any damage 15. Summon a permanent melee wolf companion. That's pretty cool. Turn projectiles. <clears throat> Projectiles can enter two new projectiles on an enemy hit. Damage is equal to... Oh, so if you hit something, it then breaks into two different ones. Okay. That's pretty cool. Melee attacks have a chance to create blades which cut through your surroundings. Damage is scaling with your melee damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 damage possibility is 50%. But it's 100% of the time you're losing 10% of the attack speed. And I like the possibility ones. This is another... A poison shot. It's another ten da condition damage. Uh, projectile hits poison hits poison all nearby enemies dealing ten damage each three seconds. Soul duration of nine seconds. 
barrier scales with AoE size. So that is <clears throat> so on one shot. That's 30 damage in three seconds. That ain't bad. I'm looking at quick video clips. It's not the same gameplay as Torchlight, but man, the UI for this is super similar. Maybe there's a development library they have in common. Oh, interesting. Scattering hit. Uh, melee hits create scattering projectiles on enemy hit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the explosive I already read. I think I'm just going to stick with this one for now, just the exploding dodge. Because, uh, well... This bleeding swirl sounds pretty good. Um, or I guess the was the poison one. Yeah, the poison shot sounded pretty good actually. But the thing is, is that it's condition damage though. So like, I don't even know if that's gonna work. Cause you see, how it has like that circle and then like the dripping of the blades. So that must be bleeding and something else. Mine doesn't have that. But like, well, that's an unstable potion. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know enough to, to like understand right now. So I think we'll just take the easy route. We'll take the extra damage if I need to dodge. However, I do that. Looks like underlying engine, weapon, and spell effects and mechanics the same or super similar. Gotcha. All right. Uh, there's 11 additional random skills will be added to skill spawn pool. So okay, sure. Choose map. I only got one to choose from. Oh, look, it's got five different difficulty layers. So that's like deep rock. Beach. Golden sands now shroud in eternal dusk. This beach whispers of sunlight lost. Tread lightly among the lurking shadows. Map tier one. Normal enemy spawn rate. Normal enemy HP. No traps. I like the idea of no traps. And when we unlock the basement, we have to complete wave five in the beach map. They say this was the first place captured by the Corrupted. Ooh, interesting. And 10, 10, all, all, all. Oh my god, oh my god. They got a lot of fucking content here. Double click? Oh, okay, I see. Oh shit. Oh, f oh fuck. Uh, hold on. I haven't. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's dodge. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. I can't dodge all the time though. I can zoom. Oh god. Wave survived. Uncollected light fragments convert to elite enemies. Oh, that is fucked. So if I don't. So like the light fragments must be the XP. If I can't get, if I miss them, it just spawns elite enemies. That is bullshit. <laughs> Skill tree and striving for light is absolutely bananas. Not like the torchlight one at all. You temporarily deactivate skills to maintain your attack speed. Skills can be reactivated any time. Oh, okay, that's cool. Increase your attack speed, or right mouse button toggle skill on and off. Nuts. So, uh, I do. I guess I have two choices to make here. Increase attack speed. I think we should do that immediately. That sounds important. Increase area of effect. Speed and range of projectiles. Number of projectiles. Um. Okay, it's the double hit. Area of effect. Quick hit chance and damage. Uh, projectile spawn angle plus 30 degrees. <laughs> Movement increase would be good too. Alright, why don't we... Uh, I like I like the idea of doing the attack speed. Play with options to rebuild, reattach, whatever the tree. Oh my god! I just selected this and this one just showed up. It just grows as I pick different things. That's absurd. Um, <laughs> fuck.
Oh, this is cool, though. Attack speed minus 50%. She... Maybe we could do an area of, uh, of effect here. There's two of them. We do both of them exactly the same. This one's a dead end. This one could list op it can at least open us up to a critical hit upgrade. Oh wait, no, we already I can already get that. Um I don't really want that. It's yeah, I mean I could do this. What's after that? Spawn angle change. Number of projectiles change, that'd be cool. And that leads to attack speed as well. <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this one instead, I think. See how the projectiles do now. What oh my god. <laughs> Wild. She just upgrade once per level. That's pretty cool. Oh! You have to. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Sponge SpongeBob Bob SquarePants. SquarePants. If nautical nonsense be something you wish, SpongeBob SquarePants. Then drop on the deck and flop like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Thank you, Satan. Uncollected but stashed light fragments. All uncollected light fragments will be stashed. Every 10 light fragments will be converted to an elite enemy spawn, which will show up next week. Oh, okay. Defeated elites have the chance to drop shards and release the 10 stashed light fragments. Okay, so once it gets to 10, I have to deal with one of them, which sucks, but. All right, cool. Um, you can also deactivate an active skill by right click or controller it's B. This would be helpful to maintain your attack speed. You can reactivate the skills at any time. I I like that. That's pretty cool. So you could like, yeah, you're able to kind of adjust on the fly. And I have one this time. I don't know how we just, how, how to determine that. Number of projectiles though? Here we fucking go, bro. All right, what's this? AOE, max health, critical hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, this tree's getting a little out of hand. The tree's out of hand. Oh, you can leave the stats here, too. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm glad that's there. Start a conjunction. Share with the power to, re to reforge the connections of a skill. Interesting. Shard of change. Shard with the power to change an unskilled skill node to a new random skill. Ooh. Shard of refund. Shard with the power to undo skill choice as long as other skills still hold connection to the skill tree origin. Dude. That's pretty sick. Okay. We're ready. Alright. I have to shoot this fucking thing. What are those? There's crabs! Shards. Fuck, what happened? God damn it. Select a shard applied on a, to a, on a skill to a skill node to reforge charge between nodes, reroll the node or refund it. Okay, so I can change to a random skill. Let's just do it on this one. Okay. Oh, max health increase. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I don't know how many things I missed there, so I'm kind of scared, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, this is actually locked. There's like multiple things that are going around it. Whereas this, if it's one, it looks like it's uh, unlocked. Interesting. And this one is locked as well. 
Unlock by unlock eight maps. Huh. Maybe it's time for an area of effect. <laughs> oh, okay. This tree is wild. You should see the path of exile tree. Oh, I can imagine. And welcome in, Donnie Mommy. How you doing? I hope you're well today. What the fuck? Is that an elite? Fucking fuck off. I keep forgetting to do the fucking thing where I have to control the projectiles. God, I'm not gonna be able to kill that thing. Uncollected is still at five. Okay, cool. About to drop a lark for a sweetheart. 3 a.m. here. Oh, jeez. Go get some sleep for sure. <laughs> My lord. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate you. All right. I got one to use here. Shot angle. Critical hit would be pretty cool to have. Movement speed is actually pretty optimum right now. Let me get that. Oh my fuck. Get away from me. Oh. Fuck off. three hey we unlocked the basement level let's go and now there's only three left okay we got two for that one. Oh, we also have a uh, shower the power to reforge the connections of a skill okay what do i want really bad though reverse your person return to you that'd be sick when you've reached two projectile range Excuse me. Hope I didn't just break that. Uh, more attack speed would be pretty good. What in the fuck? More movement speed also would be good. Or I can get health this time. <laughs> the poetry is so metal that given enough skill levels, you can have a little itty bitty witch brandishing a battle axe like a Tasmanian devil on meth. That's great. <laughs> I think we can like, yeah, the baby phoenix we can have show up. Which is pretty cool, but I haven't unlocked it yet. Get more movement speed. Fuck it. And I'm gonna hold on to that shard for now. I don't know why there's a big blue thing around it, but that's fine. Probably watch me do that, I guess. Right click and it goes away. Got it. Is this taking off? Dodge mastery? Your max dodge and dodge regeneration is increased. Okay. I'm just gonna, you know what? We'll get ready for next time. Oh, it has to be within that, I see. Shit. Makes sense though. Can't make it that ridiculous. You like stuff like Diablo? I haven't really ever given Diablo a lot, like any time, honestly. Like I played a little bit of the second one, um, but I never got into it more because I kind of, I stay clear of 
Activision and Blizzard now. Like, I'm sure the games are good. I just I just don't like the companies. Oh, boy. Well, I'm, I'm quick. I'm a quick little bitch. Oh, not so big now, are you, little guys? Eh? Little lobsters, wherever the fuck you are. Yeah, I'll just throw projectiles at me now, you little fucks. Sick. Didn't miss one, apparently. I don't want to play a game no more. <laughs> Fuck you, Nox. It's like Diablo, but the company isn't dog shit. Um, oh, Path of Exile? Okay, that's good. This is Shard of Change. Okay. So I can't... Oh, I can't use that. I can unlock this level now? So that means I can unlock this one? No. Um, what does it say I have to do? Reach two projectile range. Collect range. Your, your range for collecting items like light fragments? That's not it. Uh, how do you reach that level? Dodge charges. Generation of dodge charges per second. Okay. Skills, yeah, but that's fine. That's interesting, though. Hmm. Do, do, do. That's locked. That's not. What's my attack speed right now? 1.30. So it would take off 13. Gotta get good. I do have to gotta get good, yes. What's up, Fry? How you doing? Hope you are well. Create an additional melee attack with hanging enemy. The additional melee attack triggers all on attack and on hit effects. Damage scales with your melee damage. The attack size scales with your AoE size. Just an extra damage. So. Oh, number of projectiles. I haven't used that one yet. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna get that one first. <laughs> Ooh, it's, this has just popped over here. Uh, another dodge mastery increase. Oh, fuck yeah. How does this fucking work? Like, I love that I can't see where the other... I think it goes to that. Okay, if I put it here, it connects all three of them. So I guess that'll work just fine. Sure. <laughs> and then change a random one. Um, well, I have to unlock eight maps. So I don't really fucking need that right now, now do I? Uh, increase projectile damage. <laughs> okay. Hopefully see you next wave. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. That is fucking hideous. I keep forgetting about my projectile buttons. I have to use the arrow keys to shoot the projectiles. missed you late that time still at three leveling up we got one to choose so I, I think we just go in this direction we just take in the increased projectile damage and then we'll get the dodge mastery after that 
What's that? Oh, increase movement speed. Dude, this skill tree is out of its fucking mind. What is going on? <laughs> oh yeah, do the projectile damage now. Get out of here. Look how many more things are dying off this round. Right, which is not actually a good thing, because that means I have to collect all those fucking pieces of light. Get that one. Oh god. Oh god. Shit, I missed one. Yep, I can see it. It's right there. <laughs> Shit. That's okay. Doing good. Get two this time. Ooh. Yes, Owen a shard for refund. Anything I want to refund? I don't think so. I mean, the area of effect is kind of fine for now. I don't want to necessarily refund that for anything. Uh, but yeah, I can either go to movement speed or dodge mastery. I could dodge an extra one. The regeneration is plus 5%. I think 50 Another double head. Uh, what is my the one point thirty? If I get it to one point fifty, that'd be pretty fucking. Dope. I think it's this thing. Yeah, that one as well. Right here. Is there a closer one? I don't want to have to get. I can't even get this because it's locked. Now that I think of it, this is uh, not locked. I have to get this, then the AOE, then that. No other AOEs. Oh, there's fucking three of them right there. And it's way over here past two things that are locked. That sucks. Well, I can always head to the other dodge mastery and more increased projectile damage and max health by starting a max health right here. Let's do that. Gonna get back to work, but good luck building your constellation of skills. Thank you, Fry. You can call me Gala Jugulo. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, I wanted to say Galileo with the juggernaut and put Jug in the middle and it's not how I wanted it to come out. <laughs> Oh, no. Why would you do that? All right. Do the button. Why am I, why did I put myself in the corner? I am not smart. That dodge thing is so key, man. Shit, there's so much light, though. Oh! Oh, I was gonna go pick it up, too. Damn it. I saw those two of them. There was so many more, though. Fuck, we're gonna get an elite soon. Okay. Now... We have two again. Did we just stick on this path here and just collect all of these? This now. Oh, the critical hits are there. <laughs> AoE. The shot angle, which I still don't really understand what that is. Your, your range shot angle between multiple projectiles is increased. I just don't know what that means. But I'll start grabbing them eventually. Uh, we can do a shard of change. That's helpful. Very much so. Here. Yes. Now we can start heading over there. 
I think I'll get both of these now, and I'll leave the, uh, oh, plus 20% damage increase. I'm sorry, projectile damage plus 100% damage is plus 20. All right, let, listen, sorry. <laughs> What's this now? Increased melee damage plus 70%. Ooh, oh. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> this is definitely to be a game I play a lot offline. Oh, great. We have another new member to the party. Get the fuck away from me. Oh. I don't even... I don't even get to control where the projectiles go. If I'm pressing any of the arrow keys, it goes to, I think, the closest. Tree! What is up, my guy? I got hit the first time in a while. Oh boy. Oh, we have a bad boy to deal. Doing all right. Oops, caps. Is this Binding of Isaac Diablo edition? It might be. Another game I'll play offline without my bested frog knocks. I never said you couldn't play. I just said this is definitely a game I play offline a lot. All I said is this. Um, I've never played Binding of Isaac, but um, it's funny because uh, Damiwami also mentioned um, if I liked Diablo. Pretty sure you said you hate me. Yeah, whatever your italics want to spell over there, that's fine. All right, so here we go. So I can either do a critical hit increase which is critical hit chance and damage, and then get the increased projectile damage or do another max health increase. I think I'm gonna just do, I haven't done any critical hit increases at all. So I think I'm gonna do that and hit that. And AOE just popped over there. Wait, I don't have to press any buttons. It's shooting the projectiles by itself now. I'm pretty sure I had to press buttons to do that. I'm just losing my mind slowly. Don't listen to a thing I say, anybody. Oh my shit. Okay, that's the elite. Like how there's the fucking pieces of light just like fly around. They don't just drop straight down. It's so, like you really have to go and hunt them down at times. Oh boy. I picked up one in the end. Fuck, that's another one. Ooh, it's getting really difficult. Not much. Can't spell for shit, bud. <laughs> All right, two more. I'm gonna just burn both of those on attack speeds. I didn't put another max health and also put more dodge mastery there. Sick. We can also now realign and I still have that refund. Anything else stuck behind something it can't touch? Well, I guess I could do that. Really? It can only go back that way? It sucks. Oh. Oh. Do that too. Yeah, that connects that. Sick. Okay. Um. We're good then. Next wave. Oh my sweet Jesus. Oh, I killed that knight in fucking two hits. Those dudes suck. I 
I gotta start dodging a lot more. Yeah, so I can pick up these fucking light shards faster. Whoa. Sari bot bans Ohio Leg Knight. Ohio Leg Knight. That's something. Best viewers on Only Jugs. <laughs> Ohio Leg Knight. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, I say we definitely kill off uh, another attack speed increase, which that puts me now at 1.75. That is great. And I'll take a melee damage increase. We haven't increased anything on melee yet. What the fuck are we doing over here now? Alright. Uh, back in. Oops. Oh, there I am. Okay. Okay. We're out of dodges there for a second. I'm okay, though. Fuck this. One in there I can't get to. There's a lot more than one in there that I could get to. Fuck. Getting dicey in there. All right, so now we need to find some actual ability that's going to help me the fuck out. Oh, let's see. What's this now? Oh, let's go ahead and. Use it there. AoE. Okay, not that great, but... Alright, so some of these abilities back here, I know that I saw... That's locked. Locked. Double hit seems the only one I can really do. I mean, I, I get it, but... <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll take... Uh, that's glaring light. We'll take some a double hit where it actually is going to give you... Some, oh, okay, this is actually better because there's two other double hits here plus three more max healths and something I can't even do. Great. I just popped over here, I think. Fuck. What's that? Other revert shot. I can't do that. This one will give me green, red, red. This one will give me red, green, green. Okay, that's better. <laughs> this thing's just taking off over here. Holy fuck! Found the elite! There's too much light. I ran out of fucking dashes halfway through that. Oh my god, there's too many. Oh. 
<laughs> oh no. I'm gonna deal with another one. I can only take out 25% of his health, it seems. That's nuts. Oh, we got three this time. Yo. Okay, so I can, I'm gonna get my two other double hits on here. Take another one of those. Oh, there's another double hit there. Jesus. I'm actually feeling like another, uh, another max health is in order. Increase projectile range. Okay. I probably should start getting those too so I can unlock, uh, this one. Reach 20 condition. Damn. No, never mind. What was it? It's, uh, it's another one of these. Uh, no, it wasn't that. Where the fuck? It specifically said it unlocked at like specific range level. This one? I promise you there was something here that said that. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> uh, let's let's just let's uh, let's go. <laughs> oh my god! Motherfucker spawned right on top of me. That dude, that fucking clam is spitting pearls at me or some shit. Oh, there's too many, there's too many, there's too many. Fuck. Oh no. Oh, I picked up a ton of them. Dude, I am mercilessly, mercilessly destroying these dudes. down <laughs> four of them this time dude it's it's because it's getting crazy now okay um are we do not stats okay so i can get how many more uh boys can i get also i should get make sure i get those two okay so let me get this, let me get that. And then, uh... Sick, okay. And I have, I think, two left, yeah. Um... Additional projectiles would be really cool. That might be the play here. By God, <laughs> this is out of control. Fight me, bastards! I will destroy you. Let me get my missing heart. Like, I'm like two hitting everything. Absurd. Oh, walk through this, dude. I'm so fucked. We're gonna have to deal with the. Oh, shit, that hurt. We're gonna have to deal with the, um,. At least one. He 
piece of shit guy. Uh, elite. Next round for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> There's at least one. <laughs> I pressed space by accident. Okay. Uh, we got three to choose from this time. Um, um, I can't even select that to get there. Fuck. Uh... By the projectile ranges, that's right. But it doesn't tell me what the fucking... There's no range thing, it's just collect ranges, how, uh, how much you're collecting items. Oh, I get the Okay, I hang between multiple bullets of them. Got it. And I understand what those things do. How much I click this? Oh, it's, I have to... Okay. Right, let me refund that. Let me change it. That's a lot better. Yes, more melee damage would be cool too. Another dodge mass would be real nice. That leads to additional projectiles and attack speed. We are cooking. Oh, fuck. What is that key? What is it? Oh, it's a shard. Okay. Fuck, I tried to save myself. Oh my god, there's only two of them. Fuck. <laughs> We're in so much trouble in this game right now. <laughs> uh, yes? I don't know if we make it out of this one. Poison. That's not good. Seems I'm not actually poisoned, though, so that's great. Oh, I killed that fucker. Dodge, dodge. Come. Oh, damn it. There's at least one more. Fuck. Next wave is 19. This is... Crazy. Only get two more. 
Um, there is more attack speed. One click. Eh. Here we go. The refund shards. I'm like, can I just fucking sell those or something? health already. Oh, fuck. Two more for the final wave. And they've given us three to close out. Okay, alright. I'll take it. I'll take, uh... Max health. Increase movement speed. damage doesn't sound terrible. Exploding dodge. Your dodge triggers an explosion. The attack size scales with your AOE set. Oh, fuck. I think we unlocked this. Fuck yeah, glad I just saw that. Alright, we're dodging left and right for this final wave. Oh my fuck. What is that? Oh my god. That thing fucked me up. There's no way I'm going to kill it. I just have to survive, I suppose. This gives me only a minute to kill this thing. Oh, shit. Oh! The Tidal Titan. Oh, shit. I'm just keep running circles around you boys. Oh, shit. I don't know why I'm collecting all these, it doesn't really matter. You have survived. Level 23. I got 20th, oh, it's 99th place! My first try was in the top 100. Let's go, okay. So, we got online, play one run in online mode, check. Advanced, complete wave four on any map, unlocks weapon, flail, sick. Basement of Ankaroth, complete wave 5 in the beach map. Uh, fast, increase your movement speed to 1.5. That's how we got Scattering Dodge. Uh, champion, complete wave 12 in any map. Unlocks Throwing Axe. Reach 8 health points, we unlock the Scythe. Leech, reach projectile speed of 1.6. Uh, that unlocks Increase Collect Range. Last survivor, complete wave 20 with less than 50 melee and projectile damage. Meteor blow. Oh, sick. All right, so uh, let's pop into another run.
And I'm just realizing now you actually have to choose. These will be in the pool you want it to be able to use. Um, I should have realized that. All right, so this one, the flail is 12 damage compared to the 10 damage of the short sword. Attack speed is much slower. Knockback strength the same. Collect range goes up by 10% somehow. And I don't like that in comparison to the short sword. The scythe, kind of the same topic here. Huge attack range. I mean, that's cool, but uh, I'm losing the same damage. I'm losing attack speed. I'm, I have the same knockback strength. Oh, wait, no. I lose knockback strength. I mean, sure, my movement speed goes up a little bit. And my critical hit chance goes up a little bit. Yeah, not super feeling it. I'm going to stick with the original there. Beat the emboss in wave 20 on any map in tier 1. That's how you go with Darokin. Malaya, defeat the emboss on wave 20 on the Frozen Plains difficulty tier 2. Galadir, beat the emboss in wave 20 in the caves on difficult tier 2. Dark Wanderer, unlock, uh, defeat the end boss with 20 on the Descent map at tier 1. The Farmer, defeat the end boss with 20 on the Stonehold map at tier 1. And Rogue is end boss with 20 on the Hideout map at tier 1. Okay, it's just to kill the fucking boss. Got it. Easy. We are unlock it. The Throwing Axe. So this guy gives us 10 damage at 1 second. No knockback. This gives us 30 damage at 1 second. No knockback. Um, movement speed 10, critical hit chance 10, crit hit damage 110, area of effect 10, collect range 10, versus, uh, crit hit damage is 120, which was a little bit better than that, and slow projectiles with a big range. I get it. Alright, I think I'm going to stick with the light staff, though. Uh, so down here we'll keep... Um, anything that is gonna immediately help that doesn't touch attack speed, I'm in. Like scattering dodge, please. Uh, increase collect range, please. Um, I guess we'll have to pick a couple of these, right? Uh, what's meteor blow? Your melee attacks have a 30% chance to cast a meteor to a random area in your attack direction. Deal 30 damage and applying a knockback to enemies. Meteor size scales with your AoE size. That's pretty cool. I don't know what possibility means, though. Oh, oh, your melee attacks have a 30% chance to kill. Okay, got it. Which isn't too bad. Oh, let's add poison shot in there. Uh, there's a multiple. No, I don't want to use that. Wolf companion. Thinking about it this time. Leading swirl. Scattering projectiles. Which sounds kind of cool, actually. Clash of steel. Chance of creep blades. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. Okay. Range attacks have a 50% chance to cast a meteor to random area near attack direction. Deal 30 damage to play. Wait. Meteor blow. Is this not better? Your melee attacks have a 30% chance. Your, oh, your range attacks. Okay. I like this one way better. <laughs> Drop that in there. Um. Yeah, I'll throw that in there. Wait, how many do I have four? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right, I can put all the. Well, I don't want to put this one because that was attack speed negative twenty. Uh, Hold, et, oh hell yeah! What is up, my dude? Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! The projectiles are multiplied. Each multiplication stack adds a new shooting direction. Okay, I did see that one before. Bleeding swirl, sure. Scattered projectiles, sure. Flash of Steel, uh, you no, know I don't know if we even want those, to be honest. Okay, let's do that. I think we're ready for a run. About to Taco Bell, how are you, friends? I mean, I'm doing good. Playing this new, uh, key mailer game I got. Right, tier 1, basement map.
Fuck you. Everything's so slow, it's cute. Pick up the light shards. Oh fuck, we're gonna run out of time? Shit. Uh, so, those just jumping in, including heavy. Uh, those little light shards that fall when you kill somebody, if you don't pick them up, they stack. And once you reach 10, at the end of a round, your next round, they'll be uh, in a lead that you have to deal with. All right, let's see. Where's my, oh, it's so my tax speed starts off at one. Increase collect range would be nice. Scattering dodge, you jo your dodge throws three projectiles if ranged weapon has projectiles. Oh. Excuse me. Increase condition damage. I don't think I do anything that's condition damaged right now, though. Okay, that's the meteor one. That's locked. Increase movement speed would be nice early on. And then behind that is a dodge mastery and uh, decreased attack speed for next time. Whereas here. I have one right here now. Didn't notice that until just now. And there's a double hit we can use to kind of counteract that. I'll do that. Oh, wolf companion, empowered companions. Your companions deal additional. Oh, it's not the actual like having one show up. Fuck. I got really excited there for a second. I'm like, cool. Well, I'm gonna have a companion. <laughs> All right, cool. Fuck you all. Uh, so the idea is to not move. Oh wait, just kidding. Because I definitely missed a bunch up ahead of me. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Now we have three to choose from. Another scattering dodge. But like, I don't need these because I don't have the goddamn wolf. I don't have any cool shards yet either. Uh, I'm already at like, what, 90? I'm on 1.05? Oh. I guess we'll just do speed. Speed will then unlock. Get me those back here. Oh, I have three. Dummy. Probably the best bet. Oh. Okay, hi, everybody. Little critical head. Or it's attack speed. Plus 15%, actually. That's dope. Another scattering dodge up there. Ooh, baby. Slayer and this just happened. What the fuck? The giant ass fucking spiders. Fuck off. You know what sucks too? Is those candles are screwing with me. I can't tell if it's a light shot or a candle. Actually, I can tell very easily now that I'm looking at it. Oh my god. Yikes. <laughs> uh, my bad. Any better projectile damage? I think that's where we go here. So that's going to lead to scattering dodge up there. Empowered companion, empowered companion. Wolf companion, there he is. 
Um, let me use this uh, random changer guy on the thing I can't get. Where is it? This, yeah, that one. Get out of here. Now it's increased condition damage. Okay. You're welcome, I guess. We must destroy! Oh, fuck, we got a big boy. So definitely getting this one now, scattering damage. Um, and how do I get over there the best way? Oh, okay. This is locked. The fuck, I should have used the random on that. I didn't even see that. That would have been great. I would have had the increase. And then boom. But no. Instead, I could do one, two, and then the next round I'll be ready to go. Could do that. Okay. We also have another double hit lined up. We really want to use that. Uh, we can also just hit in uh, more attack speed and a max health, which might not be a bad idea. How about this? We'll do... Boom. Of course, now it has one pop up there. Dickhead. And boom. Okay. Oh boy, that doesn't look good. at a time. Oh, they all scattered a bunch of them. No! I got a new one. That sucked. Okay, so now that I did all this fucking work around shit just to get here. Unbelievable. Did I even change anything with that? No, nothing that's gonna be good. Um... to that for now but uh yeah we are definitely moving forward we have three we'll do the uh increased damage oh it connected up here the wolf companion either health or more damage and more damage on the companion let's do that projectile damage is next too And there's fucking three right here. Uh, that one would be fine. That would do literally nothing. Ah, eh, not nothing. Because right now there's no way to get there unless I... Well... I, I'm going to end up hitting that though, so I really don't have to care. That connects to all of them. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. What the fuck? Big ass fucking elite spider. Do not want.
Oh, dodge someone's projectiles. No. Um, I didn't see the... I didn't see the wolf. You guys see the wolf? I don't think I saw the wolf. And we're going to increase the power damage there. Go down this way. Oh, there's my wolf. Go get him, Wolfie. It's Twy. Twy's here to help me. this time perfect i think this is going to be how many oh, i need to get those two range hold on where are we now though do i really have to come all the way down there my speed looking 1.25 okay It's time we hit those. Where's the, uh, okay, this, okay. Boom. Oh, I was really stupid. Do I have a redo? Damn it, of course I don't. Fuck. Okay, go nuts. What happens if we get another... Does it make another wolf companion? That'd be crazy. I'm on my way. <laughs> Good. Um, I don't think there's anything else that's locked that I could see. It's just this one. Fleet Wave 20 with Scythe equipped. I don't have a Scythe, so... Yeah, we're going to use the randomizer on that one just to turn into dodge mastery, which is pretty cool. Thanks. My word. Hey, what do I, 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 have miss, oh, I'm missing quite a bit of health, actually. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, that's the meteors. That's sick, dude. I didn't know what that was. I'm like, why am I being attacked? They'll be getting banged up, though, that's for sure. Oh, my God. I gotta deal with two of those assholes now. I can have a, a do-over on something. I'm not going to take away that health point now. <laughs> I don't think I need to really take anything away at the moment. Everything definitely feels like I need it.
There's way too much light left. Oh, yes. Okay. Whew. I got two to use now. Oh, boy. See if we can randomize this one because I want another double hit. Here we okay. It's 3D projectiles that uh Isn't there another one somewhere? I thought there was. I must have got it. Hmm. Sucks there's only two. If there's three, I could have got Scatter and Dodge. Let's increase the attack speed and empowered companions. Fuck it. We have 10 out of 20. Oh my word. What are those circles showing up there? What is that? I don't know if that's me. He's gonna fucking die, bitch. Oh, damn. I healed. Got him. Deal with another big boy next round. But now we got three. Increase collector range doesn't sound like a bad idea. And increase projectile range is nice too. Hmm. Oh, I should do this though, really. Crazy. Okay. I gotta find some fucking health. Oh boy! What are you? Here's a piece of health. Oops. I ran right into something that didn't even attack me. do a restructure which would be really cool if it worked like this damn it actually pretty nice I'll do that boom boom boom
Oh boy. Oh, it's a giant ass bat. It's yelling at me. What was that? Oh my god. Some fucking robot shit. Dude, there's so many so many fucking shards of light there. Our shard to change somehow. Oh boy, that's at least one. <laughs> we get two to work with this time. What are we looking on? I have six total hearts. I could probably increase by one. That wouldn't hurt anybody. Random one over here. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, that's an end point. <laughs> fuck. And I gotta get around that somehow. Oh, I guess because this is we have twenty on the beach map. Oh yeah. See, I haven't changed that now. So if I can get to that, that'd be sick. Go get him, puppy. Oh my, that thing is ugly as sin. I've been injured. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Got two more to use. That was so dumb of me. I pick up the one fucking heart that I can find. And immediately run into something. And those bats suck with those fucking windmill things. Oh boy. get me oh Just hoping I could go like boom boom actually maybe I might be able to I don't know shit <laughs> I'm a dummy oh well that's fine another hit point and faster attack speed fine Oh, ho, ho. oh, I'm out of dodges. Fuck. 
I need dodge mastery. That's what I really need. This is a longer round. Holy fuck. These fucking bats will corner you quick. Oh my, that's two. <laughs> yeah, we're in the final swing of it now. Two? Well, we know, we know what I gotta get here, unless I can... I readjust this? Okay. Thanks. And, uh... I guess we'll just randomize this. Give me something good. Projectile damage. Let's fucking go, dude. That's big. And I only launched two projectiles right now, which might be a slight problem as we get into these late rounds. Not good. Oh boy. Oh, I just won. Okay, okay. That for sure. Uh, moving speed, I think I'm pretty fine with. <gasps> Excuse me. This would be another max health, max health, max health for projectile range. Or an additional projectile would be good, too. Hmm. Let's do a crit. We haven't done a crit yet. That could help us out a bit. The meteors just fucking things up is so funny. kept it below having two to deal with. They don't really give you a lot of uh, health to pick up along the way. Especially this late in the game, too. It's gonna be it's gonna be close. I don't know if we can pull this off.
Ah! What's up, Chaotic? Welcome in, friend. God angle. I don't know if A I don't really care for the you to AoE, although increasing my melee damage would probably be smart. I got nothing else. How's it going? Oh, it goes. Just enjoying a um nice roguelike game. Actually, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. More than I thought I was going to. <laughs> What are you doing this? So this is the skill tree. Um, you get to check out your skill tree and you upgrade up to every level. That was defeated enemies. Yo, let's go. Uh, so I've built this character up on this run. And there's like uh, all these different types of enemies. I have to pick up the shards of light that fall off of the dead uh, enemies that I kill. And uh, the more I leave behind, the more elite level enemies I have to face the following round. And there's 20 waves per map. Right now, I think we're on number 18 or something. Um, so we're doing quite good, although there's way too many things of light here for me to pick up. Actually, I did pretty good there, not gonna lie. Oh, I just got hit. Fuck. Ah. So every 10, I have to deal with uh, an elite enemy. So then we go back. I get three different upgrades to choose from. Uh, we're not looking at three out of eight health. That sucks. <laughs> I can realign some shit here too. The scattering dodge would be pretty sick. I can also just see what this does. Thank you, that's actually big. Let's bring in another one of those and then let me get that back. Oh, shit. No, I think I fucked something up here. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I will do this, though, for... If I do survive this round, I'll have movement speed. I'll have two attack speeds. Well, three attack speeds, potentially. Oh, wait. Durr. I have the one use right now. Okay, so I think I'll just do that best route. Probably use the extra movement speed. I see now, so you try to pick up as many as possible doesn't get added to become more enemies. Yeah. I'm super old, but games like this and Vampire Survivors and such aren't what I think of when I hear roguelike. I think more of the original Rogue, NetHack, Moria, and Aang Band. I mean, it's it's rogue roguelike. Like, so it's it's like a rogue, but it's not a rogue. Whereas a roguelite with a T just means it's it is a rogue, but it's the elements are really chill. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, Ben. Ah, uh, uh, Satan. I'm with doxing people over here. Ah, uh, Satan! Oh, shit. We have to maintain as much of this fucking health as possible, too. I killed a bunch of people right there. Fuck, we got at least one to deal with. Shit. Oh, you're calling this rogue light, not rogue like? I don't know which one it is, to be honest. Oh shit, I'm found out. It's Wait, are you saying roguelike or roguelite? 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um. Yeah, what's the attack speed right now? 155? I know need that one. I can go another health point, which really doesn't matter. I don't think it gives you another one. It just gives it another. It's a plus one max. I have two other 15 percenters to grab there, or I could grab him. Increase shot angle, or wolf companion increase in damage. Faster. Yeah. Additional projectiles, fuck it. We'll just do that. What's this? Oh, the bursting shot. I haven't unlocked that yet. Because you have to reach 50 projectile damage. Not even close. Alright. Let's do it. Holy fuck. Yep, grab my one piece of heart. I'm fucking it up. I just I have to let my dodges reload here. Okay, halfway done. Oh boy, he's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's very pissed. Come on, B. We can do this. Give me those dodges. So close. Come on. I did it! I fucking killed one of the sons of bitches. Oh, yeah. What y'all gonna do? We can't do shit. Let's go. 39th place. Let's go. find it later do you want to call diablo roguelike the roguelike to me is like the 1980 game called rogue which is a turn-based top view text graphics rpg do you want to call diablo roguelike i'm trying to understand it by a very purist definition no but they share some characteristics and not that i care to be super purist i just like games i don't say that the gamer lingo um i never really like roguelike versus roguelite I never really understood either. I just go the, by the tags that Steam has, you know. <laughs> so let's see. This just happened. Reach wave free without receiving damage. How the fuck did I do that? Wild. Slayer. Defeat 35 enemies on wave three. Unlock skills fragmentation. Dodge champion. Have two dodge skills active. Unlock skill cutting dodge. Support, reach 30 companion damage. I have ra a Ravaging Companion. The Descent, complete the first 10 waves in the basement map to unlock the Descent, awesome. Dodge Master, have four dodge skills active. Blazing Trail. Thousand defeat enemies, defeat a thousand enemies in one run. I guess it's just an achievement. Devastating, defeat an end boss on wave 20. Unlocks weapon Sugar Cane, really? <laughs> yeah, if they're calling games like this roguelike and everyone else knows that what they mean by that, then great. Yeah, I guess so. Darken, defeat the end boss with 20 on any map in tier one. We got Darken. Basement tier one, defeat the end boss in the basement on tier one. Oh, that's how you unlock endless mode. Okay, I see. Um, let me go back to the main menu really quick. It was kind of silly to do. So the candy cane has a 14 damage. It's attack speed is a little lighter, 0.8, 250 knockback strength, plus 7% collect range. That's silly. Um oh, fragmentation is ooh, defeated enemies create four projectiles in random directions, dealing 10 damage. 
Damage additionally scales with your projectile melee damage. Stackable. I'll just add that one in there. Cutting dodge. Your dodge creates a cutting attack behind you. Damage scales with your melee damage attack size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Blazing trail. Your dodge lays a trail of fire. Oh, my sweet fucking shit. And then summon a ra uh, ravaging companion on enemy death. That's crazy. And it stacks, you just keep creating fucking companions. Unbelievable. I didn't get any new staffs, but I did get a new player. So yeah, we even read, uh, I don't know, Wonder with Balanced Talents. They just get the negative 20 male, I, oh, it's it just depends. So the male is a plus 20 melee, minus 20 projectile. The female is minus 20 melee, plus 20 projectile. I guess it should have been the female the whole time. Fuck. It's, it's a rogue light. Light flips table. <laughs> it's something. Now, Darakin, the wise man of Ankarath, slow but with unique magical strength. Start, start skill, glaring light on attack. Attack speed, minus 35%. Movement speed, negative 35%. Area effects, plus 20%. Max dodge, negative 2. Ability is glaring light. Your melee attacks cast a glaring light. Lasts for 3 seconds, damaging surrounding enemies. Area scales with AoE size damage, scales with projectile damage. Dude, that guy sucks. <laughs> he doesn't sound good at all. Roguelike is permadeath runs that gradually increase the experience by unlocking newer characters, better newer character stats. And it's ridiculously difficult. Okay. Um, so it's 1130. Well, it's actually past 1130. I want to give um, our other game a try here. So we're gonna go do that, and I hope you don't mind. At their core, I'd say the only real difference is turn-based version, action-based. We're gonna get Poltergeist Watcher going here. Cloud Error, Striving for Light Survival. Can you, what happened here? Unable to sink. You try it, dickhead. Up to date. We're good. Close out of that. Oh, versus, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna just do do the option stuff here. What the I don't want windowed. Never windowed. Always full screen. Dude. Okay, there we go. Graphics quality. We'll do high, I guess. Very close to name, but very different from each other. Yeah. Str screamless mode? Well, that sounds silly. Language, none. I'll choose English. <laughs> uh, okay. Saving that. Tag there, branded content, done. Poltergeist Watcher. Gonna go have a good night. Yo, Chaotic, thank you so much for dropping in saying hey. Always good to see you. I uh, hope to see you soon. Have a great uh, day, evening, night, whatever time it is for you. So I've been playing Caves of... Can you please pronounce that? Caves of... Cu is it Cud? Cud? <laughs> the difference between Zelda OOT and Dark Souls. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. Looks like we're good to go. Join me, please. So this is Poltergeist Watcher. Uh... I, I, it's supposed to be, you know, another one of those observation duty type games, but let's check the tutorial because they have one. Uh, welcome to the Department for Protection Against Paranormal Activities. That is the D-Papa. <laughs> D-Papa. D-P-A-P-A. 
Caves of HUD is a science fantasy roguelike epic steeped in retro futurism, deep simulation, and swaths? Swaths of sentient plants. Jesus. Appreciate having you on board. You're going to observe anomalous occurrences, helping us maintain the house's safety and find a way to banish the supernatural. Here's a brief rundown of your responsibilities. One, surveillance schedule. Your duty hours coincide with the poltergeist prime time of activity, which according to our experiment ex experiments experience is roughly 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So uh, half the day. Okay. Stay vigilant during these hours and report any paranormal activities you are able to notice. You can use buttons or UI for camera selection. Um, I don't have a controller for this. What? Reporting protocol. If you spot any poltergeist manifestation on your surveillance camera, report them immediately and they will be eliminated as soon as possible. Mouse right click for quick report. Okay. However, accuracy matters. False alarms may slow down the removal process. Keep your wits about you. Got it. Do I need to play as Moon Ring? Thing? Special Detector. We equipped you with a Special Detector that emits sound based on the poltergeist activity level. Beware though, if the activity is too high, the device might get damaged. Power of the Poltergeist. Unsecured paranormal phenomena empower the poltergeist. As it gains strength, the risks escalate. A fully empowered poltergeist can be lethal, even through a video camera. Your accurate reporting is the key to keeping it under control. Okay, so it kills me if I fail. Awesome. Curse alert. Your equipment contains an alarm device that will automatically notify you about the close presence of a cursed object. As soon as it happens, you will hear an audio signal or see a special indication. According to our observations, it appears as a bronze urn. After receiving the alert, quickly locate and eliminate the urn to prevent the ultimate curse and the poltergeist's deadly empowerment. So it will kill me immediately. Awesome. So far, you've been provided with everything you need, and we wish you the best of luck. Keep yourself safe. Good night. Oh, boy. Great. Awesome tutorial. Let's go see what happens. Stand by. Appeared, moved, disappeared, painting changed, sounds appeared, something opened, light changed, ano anomaly, pollution, cursed object. Very nice. So much to look at, all these details. What? I'm hearing sounds. I guess the sounds aren't supposed to are, are actually supposed to be there. Painting has But darker. Oh wow, it's so I mean yeah, it is obviously getting darker. Cool that it actually gave it gave us that like a whole sundown and everything, like, oh it looks nice. Always noisy. What is that? I'm going with anomaly. Okay. So we saw like a fucking thing just float on by. That was not expected at all. That shut. Item moved. Oh. That thing was open before. Something opened and it's just opposite. 
Yeah, it was. Okay. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I understand now. Uh, light changed. Now we're on top of shit. Do, 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 do. Very dark out here now. Wait, the lighting definitely changed out here. It used to be light. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Hold the fucking phone. The sounds appeared thing, I'm trying to figure out what that example is going to be like. That little circle there? That? Must have been. Thing just flew by again. It must have just been a fly. I'm not seeing anything yet. Obviously, if anyone sees anything, tell me which camera it is. Top left corner, camera underscore, whatever number. It's one through six. I'm completely cool with backseating types of games. And that noise again, and it wasn't there. Block now. Ah, uh, the painting is gone. The item disappeared. There's our painting back, dickhead. <laughs> That's ours. The newspaper is always there. Okay, I didn't recognize them. Light changed. You know, because the light bulb went out. <laughs> okay. Crazy here. Do do do. Do do do. Do do. Like, tell me that's not sounds appeared. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do with that? Uh... 
hell is that noise? Oh. Another fucking light changed. Oh shit, what is that? Uh, anomaly. Uh, okay, we're good. Holy fuck, that was scary. Uh, missing ladder. Item disappeared. Oh god, there she's in the corner. Uh, anomaly. Get out of here. You didn't lock the door. Maybe those noises just get louder as more and more things show up. They're problematic. We're still alive. Oh, it's zero, 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 zero. Okay, cool. Is that, was that birthday cake always there? Oh, uh -huh. I always notice cake. Girl, that scuffling. Look, like this room has to have something if it's a problem. They go into the basement and boop, it's quiet. They go to the bathroom upstairs and you can definitely hear it again. When a clock has reached, you are still alive. Yeah? Believe it or not. I don't know how. I can't find anything different. There's not. Oh, wait. That's an extra chair. There's only two chairs here, right? Or maybe it moved? It probably moved. I don't remember that being there. Or I'm making it all up. There we go. Yeah, I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Um, I know that chair was upright. That one's fallen over. That's been like. That door open over there? Uh. Something opens. Oh, God. Hello? What? I guess I'll retry. This is a whole different fucking house. Motherfucker. Oh great, a ton of more portraits here. Oh no, it's the same house, it's a different subset of fucking cameras. That's fucking wild. Hmm. 
Mm. Getting dark. before that wasn't there before either appeared or moved yeah appeared was the pills on the floor okay do I always have weird oh just the moonlight never mind It was something here last round. It's not there now. Weird streakers. If we'll see that again. Fuck off. To me, that's a sound appearing. Bow, 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 bow. Where that the wind is like blowing in this area, though know, the windows are closed. Do I even report that? Literal door opening, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> Other sound. That door opened. Everything looks good so far. Everybody's happy. Definitely wrong with this house. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Tree, you rat bastard. I didn't move. That wasn't there before. Quite up on the shelf. Yep. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> uh, wasn't there three things there? The item disappeared. 
Yeah, brother. Or it was this thing that was missing, maybe. That went, I don't know. Something was different with this table. I crushed my water tonight. Fuck. Oh, door opened. Something. Okay. Oh, I changed here. Quite drastically, actually, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. were there newspapers in front of this? Ooh, it's right there over there. What? What the fuck disappeared? God damn it. I don't know what it is, but I'm glad I got that one. That is a light chain. I don't know if I've ever seen one. Excuse me. Holy shit. A fish. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, we got another uh, opening. They're just approaching midnight. Oh my fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Why? Why? She just shows up and scares me for no fucking reason? What an asshole. Quiet with your insidious violins. Fucker. Pay attention. Job here. That's different. I don't think that's been there. Yep. Fuck yeah. See if I fucking caught that. We will. Oh, missing chair. Him disappeared entirely. Uh, it is not anywhere in that room. Hell yeah. Now what? Boom, boom. Past midnight, went up on one in the morning. Oh, there's an extra item appeared or moved. Here. Oh, there we go. Only partially terrifying. That moved. Just blanket. Uh, nope. Something else moved. It was neither of the blankets. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> what 
What the fuck? Take full credit for that lucky shot. Oh, fuck. That banana always there? I think I've noticed that banana before. Oh my god, no way. Banana, you find it. Oh my god, I got a fucking achievement for finding the goddamn banana. That's outrageous. That was loud and sounding. Okay, that's it. Two o'clock reach is still alive. Okay, all right. Two in the morning. Five more hours to go. Oh my God, I didn't fucking see her there for a second. Holy shit. That actually, that sincerely scared me. I never look in that corner. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? None of that's super helpful, unfortunately. And we get the basement with the ladder in it again. Um, a hallway with a really creepy picture at the end of it. Two others, this one, two doors. Balcony here. We get the study again. Uh. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. This little study or office area is a sketch. Up oh, in the, uh, the the dining room, as always.
Yeah, I can't tell that thing fucking works. Oh. Use you. Like ripped like a pretty decent fart out in the hallway. There's something. Okay. <laughs> where oh where Tamales want to be Porta send them to Napoli it's a place up the street from my house I always use my Were opened. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That looks like there's something new over there. Uh. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> no idea what just happened. Is that knife always sitting in there like that? Here, the item moved. Oh, the cake would. <laughs> okay, cool. Glad I got that one. Yeah. Bucket in my ear with that shit. <laughs> it's whispering her sweet nothings. Ooh. Got a lighting problem. 
Got it. Moving on. Oh, fuck. What? Okay. That's one of those, then. Fuck you, too, girl from the ring. Toilet paper. Looks like toilet paper. On energy. Fuck out of here, bitch. Oh, there's another one. Uh, that's probably a move, though. Probably was sitting right there. Yeah, right in the middle of the table. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Is that what I think it is? Okay, good. I was like, that looks like the urn they were talking about. Why haven't I heard the alert go off? Oops, wrong way. Bing, 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 bing. Oh gosh, in the back. Uh, goodbye. Be gone, bitch. Uh, that's not what that record player is supposed to be. And then it appeared there. Sorry. Past 1 a.m. It's the uh, it's the real time now. Um, that shadow looks really weird. Oh, it's lighting. Oh. There was a shadowy figure there. It's like, all I could see was it's sh literally it's a shadow as if it was standing there. Very interesting.
two in the morning. I think I just died. I think so. Just there to be a little piece of shit. Try to scare me. Successfully. I do not care. That picture changed. Also, sounds appeared, maybe? Yep. And also, painting. Their eyes are not like that typically Something opened. There we go. Three o'clock is reached. It's another new achievement. Oh, that moves. That generator was right there. Gotta steal my fucking generator before the goddamn winter. Kick your ass. I don't know why that kind of scared me. I remember seeing a plant down here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that door opened. Appeared. Can't you hear me knocking on the window? Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. Four o'clock. Can't you hear me knocking on the door? Whoa. Okay. Fry for the biddies. Bruce the Juice. What's up, my guy? Welcome in. GG, right? That was a good one. Oh, that door also opened. Closet one. Stop that. This shit up. Do this. Even ourselves. That is a light change. Bitter. Can't you hear me knocking on the window? Oh my fuck. What is that? Um pollution? Brother, I don't know what to do here. Uh First object? 
Reached five o'clock, but we're not looking good. The fuck is this? No. God damn it. I how how was I supposed to Yeah, that was my best so far though. Twenty six anomalies found, four ghosts spotted, seventeen and a half minutes. We got to five oh eight in the morning. We're just under two hours away from being item appeared i mean maybe just weird because like it's not really an item there's no item changed would it be a move what can you do actually it's kind of i don't know i wouldn't wouldn't have listed it as any of those. Yeah, right. I figured if anything, it was a cursed object because it was handsomely on fucking fire. But hey, what can you do? Airflow back in here. Mm. Mm. Use me. Look at the top of the stairs again. Outside. Oh, this is a new room. I haven't seen this before. Assuming it is a girl's room with the polka dot dress and the high heels. Portrait on the wall. Get this hallway again. Uh, in the study. There was a picture here. I fucking knew it. And I said it and I said there it it disappeared and nothing happened. Oh gonna have problems. I thought things were getting easier. I thought we were like getting towards the end, obviously because of time, but like I was doing really good. Wait, Joe, can you click on curse alert? Wonder if that's what we need to do. No, it's an automated thing. I can't click on it. Oh, but I can. Portal light change event. Yeah, I, but I did wonder that too, Twy, to be honest. Do, 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 do. Late change event. I'm convinced I'm going to um Okay. 
Tag by Oh, that open. Two different things are open there. Close both of them. That's a light change. Missing shoe. Oh. Uh, just as a reminder, feel free to uh, backseat as much as you want. I'm going to say that that is... It. I don't think there was... No, all right, it did get... Where? I don't know, but it was not there before. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can use all the help I can get. You just let me know which camera. And a little description of where... Something is what I should, you know. Don't feel like you have to. I just figure it makes my life a little easier. Too bad at these. I don't think you're too. Rest missing. Oh, shit. Why? See? What I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, that's new. Big old thing of pills. Oh, missing portrait. Weird. So. Oh. 
Hounds appeared. Oh, fuck. I can't get it fixed for that. That's ridiculous. It's just they're scared the shit out of me. I was terrifying. That's over. I must have clicked go the second it fucking spawned. Fucking flies everywhere. They call it that pollution. I don't know how to, like, what pollution would be in, the, in this respect, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna find out the uranium rod just hiding in the corner. We get a light change, and we got a, uh... Oh shit, the curse alert. Look for the urn. Look for the urn. Right there. What? Oh, it's out of the- it, the box moved, shit. Item moved. Shit, there's a lot of stuff that I have to go get. I think I think I just have to press that next time. I'm confused. I thought I had to find an urn. Oh uh, what? Apparently I didn't find I did have to find it and I did not. Damn it. Oh, that was an earlier death. Let's see. Do we have enough time for two more runs, maybe? This game is certainly difficult, though, I will say. Okay, we're up in the attic on number one. Uh, Another camera angle of this... Oh, it's not a study. It's a bedroom. Weird. I can see this photo, this picture, that picture's there, those three, then this one, old dresser over there. We get the ladder again, the basement. And we get this bedroom again, okay. Kitchen, I feel like we've always had the kitchen. Is the heart of the home after all? The fog just rolling because it got it's another hour in. Just warm. Oh yeah, there goes the darkness right there. Oh, the tea kettle is on the ground. Hey, hey, yeah. Here we go now, yeah.
I haven't seen anything of concern in a minute. I'm very worried. Uh, reflection's kind of weird. Like, is that an anomaly? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. It's like, huh? You hurt. Who's you? That's not where that plant goes. The clothes hangers missing. That took a second. What? They must have moved somewhere. Okay, I don't know where the fuck it was, but <laughs> it moved somewhere in that fucking room. That radio always there, I don't think so. Move. Fuck you. Weird. Goodbye. I am not seeing anything out of place. Where is me? Oh, that telephone either moved or it appeared there. It moved. On the end table in the corner. No, that something else moved. Uh, item appeared. All right, so there was a second thing there that I had no idea about. Okay. I'd love that. Feels good as you hit 11 o'clock at night.
Jesus. Fuck. Downs appeared. Goodbye. Got all these narrows at the. Oh, the gargoyle moved. Anomaly sitting at the chair. If we tell her to fuck right off. We are approaching midnight in game. Oh, fuck. Didn't like that. Oop, oh, light changed. Not missing grass. Okay. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. She's supposed to have like black hands here. Guess not. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a sec. Uh, what is that? Uh, item appeared. I think a propane or something, or like gas. I put that back. Oh, finally that door opened. Oh. Knocking him dead over here. Oh, okay. Thanks for the gramophone, but, uh... I'm not supposed to be up here. Um, item moved. I think that's supposed to be over here. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, both of them. Jesus. Another door opened.
Sounds appear. Sounds disappear. Goodbye. Womp bum bum bum. Womp bum bum bum. Womp bum 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 bum. Womp bum 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 bum. Womp bum 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 bum. Womp bum 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 bum. Oh fuck! Get out of here, fucking psycho. Oh, that moved. You're to the left. Oh, shit. Okay. Big old light change in camera, too. Oh, no. Bitch. Alright, stop your violin bullshit. I'm busy. Well, that's... Oh, come on! I don't understand. I get to, like, almost the same spot every time. Uh, how many achievements are in this game anyways? Curious. Eight of nineteen. I like how don't find it. It's how it looks it's how it looks like. We're trying to find the urn. Yeah, we've got to five o'clock. That's the furthest we've got so far. There's a six and a seven. Find, move, throw away. It's the merchandiser. Electrician seems something with wire with wiring. So it's like a hundred, like of the category. Doorman. Someone opens it. Music critic. Where it's scraping again. Cleaner. Someone get dirt everywhere. Boy of the month. One more night. Ghostbuster. It show. It shows every night. Art critic is cursed paintings everywhere. And there's a hidden achievement. Hidden achievement. Deal with curse. Find a report cursed object. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do one more. We yeah, I, I know it's it's like it's getting close to one, but let's give it one more shot. Okay, so we get this hallway again. Fuck, the, I, that book was standing on this thing at one point. Fucking damn it! Oh, the other angle of this stairwell now. Oh, Christ! Look at this picture. Here too. Oh, that's the other side of the hallway. I get it. Okay. This angle again. Basement. Okay. And it's getting dark.
Ah, oh, it's a banana. I found a banana. Yeah. Always feels good to find the banana. Banana, banana, banana. Uh, so hard to see if there's anything missing or anything in that room. Usually pretty obvious in there. That's not a door. It's a old jug. Not right there. Something's missing right here. I didn't move him, idiot. Ayo. Where are my anomalies to port? Anything but in minute. That thing at the end moved in here. Yep. Nice try, shithead. That coffee. I didn't think so. Okay, cool. Oh, that opens. Those are our four. It's just hard to see. Darker. Yo, clicking cat, what's up? Welcome in. Sorry, I'm just totally zoned in and 
trying to find anomalies. Hope you're doing well today. Hope that thing of pills is new. Oh, it's understandable. <laughs> well, happy to have you back in, of course. Hope you had a good day. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, uh, this is our last run we're gonna make for the night. Bit of a headache, but okay, you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's not an anomaly. That's the picture. No. No. Oh, yeah, it was late. Oh, gotcha. Oh, fuck me. Well, I hope your headache goes away. I certainly don't like when I get a headache. They're usually rough. More often than not, that they're like, they become debilitating. And I'm like, I didn't need to go lay down and pretend like my eyes are not trying to force their way out of my head. Yeah, they're a pain. Yeah. Yeah, my wife gets really bad migraines on occasion. Like, she gets, like, super nauseous and, like, lightheaded. Has to go, like, lay down. That's an anomaly right fucking there. Cause I can see the shadow. Fucking clear out. Fuck out of here. That portrait fucking changed. Yeah, there we go. After midnight, I feel for her sometimes it's like that. Oh, yeah, I, I get maybe one or two migraines. Each. That's got to be pollution. And it is fucking miserable. I just go and lay down and shut the lights off and I just go to sleep. Oh, that moved. I get through them. I get all the time oh yeah miserable like why why must this be a thing one o'clock in game now is there an anomaly here shadow yeah uh-huh yeah saw it that thing fucking moved. Oh, it was back a couple feet. I fucking see you. I don't blame you sometimes it's like that, but seeing the dark room it's helped. Yeah. Oop. That sounds appeared easily.
getting concerned. Oh, what was that? I knew it. Right as we were changing over, I saw the door move. Naturally. That's so stupid. There was an anomaly there. She just broke the light. Fucking bitch. There's a coffee mug down here. And it's gone. Crazy. Yeah. There's some gunk on that picture. No? Okay. Wait, I try. Oh, that's open. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Yeah, I didn't find a lot of them. Oh well. Well, I like the concept of the game. But I can't even get past the first watch. We got to, we got to five o'clock once, we have to get all the way to seven. Oh, I don't know. It's a tough game. Fun, but tough. I guess it takes a lot of like, you have to know what to look for too a lot of the time. So it is what it is. Thank you all for hanging. Um, so I'm going to find us get ad block updated. I don't give a fuck. Um. Let's find somebody who is live that we can raid. Hmm. I'm seeing three good candidates. Uh, we can go see Balance TTV from um, CEOs of Scream. She's playing Tormented Souls. We could go see Remy Necro. She's uh, he's playing Valheim. Uh, or we could go see new friend uh, Nartu Desi. He's playing Remnant Two as part of her. I you know what? she's doing a 24 hour stream. Why don't we do it? It's, it's actually special. I think it's her four year anniversary on the platform. Anniversary party? Yeah, it's probably four years. Win date with Bebop Brit? What? What is going on in this stream? All right, anyways, this, should, this sounds ridiculous. Four years, yeah. Okay, hope you have a good night, everyone. Oh, thank you so much, Twy. I hope you are doing. Uh, I, hope you, I hope everyone's doing shwell. Um, I think we had a good time playing those games today. the The observation duty games are a nice sit back and just take your time. Unfortunately, I was not doing very good with it, but it is what it is. And then um, the first game we played there was pretty fun. I probably end up playing more of that on the side. 
but maybe it'll be one of those end of game end of stream games you could play along with Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, Vampire Survivors, like those three games being same like genre of game, but all three having a lot of things different between them is real cool. Um but yeah, that's going to do it for tonight. We are going to be back tomorrow night, same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're starting Bioshock Infinite tomorrow night. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope you all can come and hang out and see what kind of mess I get myself into with that. <laughs> uh, let's get the raid all set up here for everybody. Uh, so first and foremost, the raid message. God damn it, Meg. We almost made it a whole stream without one again. So Thank you, friend. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> uh, so you'll see uh, in the chat somewhere. Uh, you can grab the uh, you grab the raid messages. Uh, you were lurking. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so there is. Um, Sorry, so there should be some raid messages there. The ones with our emotes, um, if you're a subscriber, that should work just fine. Otherwise, you can grab um, one of the ones that has the red pickaxe on it or or use whatever emotes you want. It's completely cool. Uh, there's also my social links there. Uh, the best way we can start, in, you know, not start, but we can continue to grow the Twitch uh, channel here uh, is by bringing people in from other platforms that maybe don't see Twitch as a... Uh, a platform to use but or, or they like everything else that we do and they want to come check us out here so having said that you can find me on youtube uh, i post vods monday wednesday friday uh and then on tuesdays and thursdays i post a youtube short from something relatively recent normally sometimes i'll do like a flashback one uh if you prefer prefer if you prefer um for short form content on tiktok i'm also on tiktok for as long as the u.s government allows that to happen uh i'm also on twitter or x if you want to call it that um uh, yeah if you use that platform still come on and hang out um i'm just up i'm just you know in there to basically cause trouble and make announcements and whatnot uh however the most important place outside of Twitch is Discord. Our home away from home is where the Jug Mob hangs out. If you're not in the Discord and have Discord, you just haven't joined yet, highly recommended. If you haven't ever used Discord before, try it out and come hang with us in the server. It's a, it's a pretty chill server to hang out in. Um, uh, we get to we have some community game nights. We have watch parties. Uh, the question of the day bot's really good. Uh, Clicking Cat is actually a uh, a frequent flyer of the Question of the Day bot. I always look forward to seeing Clicking Cat's responses in there. Uh, we have wrestling party nights. Uh, there's areas where you can provide your own thoughts and feedback for the streams, uh, both in terms of game recommendations and... Um, polls to determine what, what we're going to be doing. Oh, thanks. They're interesting. Yeah, these these cards we have in here are are, are decent, so it's something. Uh, yeah, that's really all I ask for. Um, so if you haven't followed me on all of those yet, go follow me on all of them or subscribe. Whatever the whatever the the free follow is for you on those platforms, do that. Do that. Um, where's Nartu? Okay, there's Nartu. So we're gonna start up the raid now. Over to Nartu Desi. Again, she is celebrating her four-year anniversary on twitch that's incredible we're hitting our four year later this year in october which is in oh god it's in like four months uh yep it's almost time for me to get working on this year's <laughs> make sure we're ready to go but uh yeah that's gonna do it for tonight i will see you all tomorrow night for some bioshock infinite please go hang with nar2 if you can um and if you dig the content Drop a follow. I think it'd be super cool if you did. Five months. Don't rush the year. I mean, it's the end of May, right? So June, July, August, September. There's four months between now and October. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, all right. I'm gonna get out of here. Go, yeah, go hang with Naruto if you can. Don't follow if you're into it. If you're not, then get the fuck out of there. It's all good. I will catch you all tomorrow for Bioshock Infinite. Good night.